Hello everyone, welcome to PySquare Academy, myself Shekhar. Today I am going to tell you why tester will not glow in neutral wire. And I will also discuss different types of groundings. I mean what is earthing, chassis grounding and grounding and equipment grounding and signal grounding, all this stuff. I have already answered such interesting questions like why 11 kV, why 3 phase is used, mostly not 4 phase, 5 phase, 6 phase, why 50 hertz is used in India, what is the concept of phaser, why transformers are rated in KVA, batteries are rated in Ampere, ACs are rated in tons, air conditioners are rated in ton. All these interesting questions I already answered. You can just go through the videos. And if you're new to the channel and want more such kind of videos, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on new uploads. Let's get to the topic. This short video will build many of your concepts and it will clear many of your doubts. So try to watch till the end, just 8 minutes approximately, right? Now, we all know in AC system which you have studied, current is continuously changing its direction because voltage is continuously changing its direction, so current also will change its direction continuously. Let's see that. Here we have an AC source, plus minus, one half cycle you have plus minus here, another half cycle you will have here minus, here plus. Let's take this point as A, point B. Okay. Sometimes point A is positive, sometimes point B is positive. So, if I keep tester at one point, it will glow. If I keep the same tester at another point, it will not glow. The question is, if polarity is continuously changing, tester should glow here also, right? Why it is only glowing at one point? That's the question. I hope you understand the question, right? Here, understanding question is very important. Now, coming to the answer. Look at this. What do we call? we call one point as phase, one point we will call it as a phase, another point we will call it as a neutral. The name itself is very clear, it is neutral. What is not neutral? It is neither positive nor negative, it is neutral, neither positive nor negative, it is neutral means it has zero potential it has zero potential. So for what we discuss plus minus minus plus, is it wrong? Yes, it is wrong. This is a neutral means what? Neither positive nor negative, that's the name. Look at the name neutral, okay, zero potential. Then why do you represent this way? It means this will be, exactly speaking, this B is always at zero potential, this B is always at zero potential. With respect to this B, that this polarity will be positive, this polarity will be negative. Sometimes this is positive, in some other half cycle it is negative, but this potential is always zero. Now, who is making sure that this potential is zero? That's what the ground. That's what the ground. By connecting this to the ground, by connecting this to the ground, by connecting this point to the ground, ground is having zero potential, same potential will be here. So, neutral potential is maintained 0 volts by grounding, by grounding the neutral. Now, some people call this one as earth connection also, earthing. In North America, they will call it as, North American English, they will call it as a ground. In British English, they will call it as earth. So basically, earth and ground, they are just synonyms, okay, they are just synonyms. In North America, they will use this. In British English, they will use earthing. They commonly use earth, okay. Basically, both are synonyms. That's the first point to note. Ground, earth, both are same. So, neutral is connected to this. That's why, as it is a zero potential, you are also standing on ground. So, your potential also zero. When you are putting a tester here, tester will not glow, obviously, because of this zero potential. Now, there are different types of groundings. In electrical engineering, you will see different types of groundings are there. This groundings, grounding or earthing, whatever you, call, you can call. This is, I would like to call it as a neutral grounding. This is called as neutral grounding. Okay. And instead of connecting this directly, that's what solid grounding, you can keep a resistance, then we will call it as a resistance grounding, reactance grounding, Peterson coil grounding. There are different types of groundings. Okay. Now for now, this neutral grounding means connecting neutral wire to the ground to maintain neutral potential as 0 volts. That's a point. Now, there is one more type of grounding or earthing called equipment grounding or you can call it as a chassis grounding. Again here the name, chassis grounding. Chassis itself, the name itself is very clear. Chassis means what? Chassis of a car. It's a body of a car, right? Chassis of a car is body of a car. 
chassis of an equipment the outer body of the equipment okay so chassis grounding means you are connecting the outer body of the equipment to the ground now you may ask the question we have already done the neutral grounding to maintain zero potential now why do we need to connect the chassis of the equipment to the ground what's the point of doing this this is for providing a protection for the purpose of protection we should connect the metallic part any non conducting metallic part rather non current carrying metallic part you should connect to the ground for the protection purpose you may ask another point the point is we have already fuse for the protection now why we need to have another protection of course fuse or mcb is there at your home for the protection protection of what it's a protection of appliance or your equipment but this chassis grounding is for the protection of the operator protection of the operator from getting a shock under some abnormal conditions if you want to know more details on it how this protection will happen how it is different from fuse i have already done a video on this you can check the links in the description for that video then you will get a complete idea now i don't think it, this topic of grounding will be complete if i don't say another type of grounding which you'll observe very usually in electronic circuits in electronic circuit they will call it as a signal grounding okay they will call it as a signal grounding let me put the symbol the symbol for signal grounding is they will use this kind of signal this kind of symbol for signal grounding for this earth i think you know this is already this is a neutral grounding and there is one more grounding that's what i said chassis grounding they will use this symbol this is a symbol for chassis grounding this is for signal grounding this is for neutral grounding now what is the signal grounding in electronic circuit we will use one common connection as a return path and this common connection will be connected to the negative terminal of the dc supply this common connection is called as signal grounding let me just give an example with the help of a circuit suppose there is a breadboard i think you might be using this breadboard okay or any any electronic circuit uh, board or pcb board or anything you will have a connection diagram a connection diagram is there you will take this as common and every element written path you will connect to this you will connect to this what are the element you have in the circuit so this is a common one okay and this will be connected to the this common is, will be connected to the negative terminal of the dc supply whatever you have means this common terminal is having a potential of this negative terminal of the battery okay this potential how much is the potential i don't know that is decided by that is dictated by rather the dc voltage what we use now if i connect this to the ground the physical ground what we have then this is a negative terminal connected to the grounding that's what the neutral grounding concept but this is never done this is never done this is not necessarily a zero voltage like neutral grounding this is a negative potential of the battery okay so this is called as signal ground the symbol is something like this all right now what you observed what is the difference between neutral grounding and signal grounding neutral grounding in neutral grounding reference voltage is always zero voltage is maintained okay zero voltage is maintained in case of neutral grounding because it is connected to the earth in case of signal ground the reference voltage is uh, the dictated by the voltage source dc voltage source i think points are clear apart from these groundings there are other types of groundings to eliminate or to reduce the electrical noise anyways uh, you don't have to get into that you will see when you go to high voltage engineering or high frequency power electronic applications you will see how to reduce electrical noise with the help of grounding that's a different purpose now for now the conclusions are what are the conclusions if you connect any conducting part to the ground then it is called as a neutral grounding usually we do a star point of a three phase system will connect to the ground that's what neutral grounding that's why tester will not glow at the neutral point because the reference is neutral is maintained at zero volts that's the first thing the second thing grounding of a metallic part but a non conducting part or a dead part you can say if you done that part if you take that part and connect it to ground that is for safety purpose that's a different grounding the third one signal grounding signal grounding means the one which maintains the reference voltage dictated by the dc supply it has nothing to do with the mother earth okay it has nothing to do with the physical earth what we have it will just call it as earth connection or ground signal ground connection because it's a common point and the finally the term grounding or earthing are just synonymous 
ground is more commonly used in north america north american english and earth is more commonly used in british english that's it i think all the points are clear if you like the video hit the like button and if you want more such kind of videos subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified immediately thank you see you in the next lecture